Hey Mathletes, in this lesson what we're going to look at is we're going to look at solving rational equations. Now this will be a shift from what we've been doing the last three or four lessons. What we're going to do is we're going to look at an equation. Before we were looking at an expression. So again the only difference that between an expression and an equation is we can answer math's greatest question, right? What is x? Because now it's equal to something. That's it. So now little different, but I like it. Okay, this one's an adding. So again, our steps are going to stay the same. Step one, factor. Okay, well, nothing to factor here. That's good news. Step two, step remains the same. NPVs, sure, right here, right? I've got x can't equal zero. Okay, this is an adding and subtracting question. So guess what? Step three, Let's find that common denominator. I'm just writing CD because I'm lazy. Okay, common denominator. Well, in this case, it's going to be just 3x. So now let's get that common denominator. So again, I'm going to multiply everything by 1 in a sneaky way. So I'm going to multiply that by x over x. 3 over 3. Don't forget the other side of the equation. x over x. I'll see that every once in a while when students are learning how to do this. Okay, and so I'm just going to take my time. Again, as you get good at this, you'll start skipping steps, right? And that's kind of okay, I get it. But when you're first learning, just take your time. Okay, so there's my common denominator. So now I'm gonna write it, everything with my common denominator. So that's three X, I'm gonna distribute at the same time. So that's X squared minus X plus 12 is equal to X squared over three X. Now, from here, there's several different ways I've seen teachers teach this over the years, but here's how I'm going to do this, friends. Okay, what I'm going to say is this is an equation. It's an equality. The left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. That's what it means to be equal to each other. Left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, and I can see that the denominators are equal to each other. Well, if the denominators are equal to each other, I don't really need them. All I need to solve for then is the numerators. I'm going to say the numerator of the left-hand side has to be equal to the right-hand side. Okay, the denominators didn't just disappear. I simply don't need them. Okay, that's how I attack the problem. Again, I'm special. What other teachers like to show is they say, let's multiply both sides by the common denominator. So what I do to one side, I do to the other because I'm maintaining, maintaining equality. And then what you should notice is 3x divided by 3x is 1. Hey, look at you end up in the exact same spot. So I don't do that step. I just say if the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and the denominators are equal, therefore the numerators are equal. Okay, what do I want to do from here? Well, I want to solve for x. Well, x squared minus x squared is 0. That's bueno, right? And then what do I end up with here? Well, I end up with x is equal to 12. Now, what I want to check is two things. First off, I'm going to check, is that my NPV? We said my NPV was 0. No, that's good. Okay, on occasion, you're going to find your answer is maybe one of your non permissible values. You got to watch for that. Okay, the other thing I can do, friends, is I can verify my work. Watch how I'm going to verify. So I'm just going to switch to, I don't know, that looks pretty. Okay, we've done verifying before. Okay, you should always do it, especially on a test if you have the time, if you should, right? So again, to verify, I check the left hand side and right hand side separately. So I said, what did I say a second ago? The answer is 12. I don't have enough coffee in me. So I sub in the 12 into the left hand side like that okay I simplify what's that that's 11 over 3 12 where did I get that 3 from right oh I went crazy there guys my apologies I don't know like I just said I don't have enough coffee in me okay 4 over 12 which is one third right I'm sure a couple of you were like hey stop it what are you doing okay that's 12 over 3 I check the right hand side Notice how I check them separately. I don't make them equal to each other at the beginning. 12 over 3. Hey, done. I've done the question right. Okay. So 
let's try maybe just one more and you should be good to go. I think equations are easier than simplifying expressions because of that, because I have a really easy way to check my work. Okay, here we go. So step one, can I factor? Nah, nothing to factor. Step two, non-permissible values, sure. X can't equal negative three. Okay, common denominator. Well, my common denominator, this one, I only see one denominator right now, but they're really all over one. So my common denominator is gonna be X plus three. So I'm gonna multiply everything, well, not everything, but the first term and the last term by X plus three, like that. Okay, then I write everything with my common denominator, just like that. Okay, nothing to do on the second term. There we go. And I think sometimes the biggest pain in the butt in these questions is how much you have to write. You know, there's a lot of writing. And that's where sometimes, again, I'll see students will start to skip steps, and I will too, just because, you know, it gets a bit frustrating, but try not to. Okay, let's distribute everything out. So x squared plus 3x minus 12 is equal to negative 2 x plus 3 over x plus 3. Okay. It's an equation. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side. We have a common denominator. Therefore, the numerators are equal. Just like that. I'm going to distribute in this negative 2 at the same time. Okay. Now I've got to solve for x. It's looking like a trinomial. So I'm going to bring everything to the left hand side. Because x squared, I want to be positive, add 6. There we go. Hey, it's trinomial. Oh, guess what? More factoring, right? Uh, what are we going to get here? x plus 6 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. Keep solving. So we use the zero product property. So therefore, x is equal to negative 6. x is equal to 1. And OK, sweet. I get two answers. That's going to happen. I'm going to see, is that one of my NPDs just in case? No, it's not. That's good news. Okay, it can be for sure, but in this case, it's not. So that's good. There it is, my friends. Okay, again, what I would do if I had the time, I do have the time, I just don't want to do it because I'm lazy. I would verify both of those by subbing them back in. Okay, there it is, my friends. Solving rational equations.